This is Zombie Thuggin' Podcast. Just sit back and listen, and also eat a dick, bitches. Podcast. My name is Buddha. This is the Sideways. What up? What's up? Not much. I'm yeah. still a little tired from a workout. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just woke up like 20 minutes ago, so yes, was 30 up. minutes, just took a shower and got over here. Right. So I'm not really awake either. Yeah, cool. Alright. <laughs> We're matching energy. <laughs> <laughs> We're like NPR. Yeah. So I'll be talking podcast. Right? Work pissed me the fuck off these past two days too, man. Well, what's going on? Alright, well, so for the record... Sideways works for Dollar General. Yeah. So. Nothing per se. I mean, like, what's it called? It's uh, just retail or just... Per, retail and, uh... Yesterday kind of pissed me off. Because, I mean, like, my... And, and I'm trying to keep in mind, retrospect, my, my, uh... My boss, was she she wasn't, like, trying to grill me or anything. She was just trying to motivate me or whatever. Or, or you know, and just kind of critique me. But there was, like, a couple of lines and a couple of things where it's, like, it's always been a pet peeve. Alright, there was one when she was like, you need to move fast, you need to do this, wow, and I was kind of irritated because like, I'm trying my best, I'm trying to go fast and stuff, yeah. and then she's giving me like, she gave me like a 15 minute speech on how I need to like, talk myself up and amp myself up and this and that, and it's like, okay, and the whole thing's running in my head, it's like, you know what, that's cool and all, and I, I kind of get where you're coming at, from coming coming from yeah. but at the same time this speech is not fucking helping my speed yeah it's just dragging me and making me think making everything lo- longer for me yeah we'll just cut it short hey you need to move faster that's it you know okay no problem done and then uh in the middle of that i was like look i'm trying my best shit and then she just like no no you're not that pissed me the fuck off like bitch you don't know yeah. what the fuck i'm all the fucking shit i have to do and shit like yeah. that you know and, and only you know like It'd be one thing if I was, like, dragging my ass and purposely not, not, not trying to do anything. Mm-hmm. But, like, I know I'm fucking breaking my ass. When I'm fucking sweating and shit, yeah. sweating at a job, nah. Yeah. That, to me, even if the person's moving slow or not, when the person's sweating, you know they're actually trying to fucking work. To me, that's, like, a simple indication of, hey, they're actually trying their best. Yeah. You know? So, whatever. And it just kind of threw me into shit, you know? Um... So, I mean, like, but like I said, I mean, I knew she was, I know what she was trying, she didn't mean, like, you know, she didn't grill grill me, but, what's it called, like, that part pissed me off when when I was like, look, I'm trying my best, no, you're not. Yeah. She just stopped me mid sent. like, she just stopped me right when I said I'm trying my best. She didn't even let me say finish best before she was like, no, stop right there, no, you're not. I was like, man, you bitch. (laughs) (laughs) So then the rest of the night, I was just like, you know, whatever. Fuck I mean, this, fuck that. Yeah. That, what's it called? That was my attitude. I I didn't catch an attitude with the customers, but I kind of went back to, well, you've seen me mad. Yeah. You know, my my, my, my one of my stages of mad anyway. I just was silent the rest of the night. I was yeah. just like, well, fuck it then. Boom, boom, boom. Have a good night. Get the fuck out of my store kind of deal, you know? Yeah. Well, I remember the first time you and I ever really met was <clears> when we were both working at UPS. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I didn't talk to you for a while, you know, I didn't know, you know. Yeah. You know, because I asked everyone else, like, hey, what's up? Because, uh, you know, what's up with Sideways? Yeah, we didn't call you Sideways at the time, but. Yeah. Um, it's like, oh, no, he's all right. He's just a quiet, quiet guy. I'm like, oh, because it looks like he wants to kill everybody here. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, he gets that look. He, he's really actually a pretty cool guy. Yeah. And then, like, you know, we start talking and, you know, right. sure went from there, but. Right. But no, it was just that. And then for Sunday, when. What's it called? Everybody was just rude as fuck. There was more customers and shit. There was one customer. That motherfucker pissed me off, man. And I told him. I was like, okay, you could just said no. You didn't need to give me this whole extra speech and shit like that. I didn't say shit like that. But I was yeah. like, you didn't, you didn't need to give me this whole speech or lecture. So I'm just trying to learn you something. I was like, no, you're just, you're, you're gabbing at the mouth because you've had a bad day somewhere else. And you're just trying to take it out of me. Yeah. You know? Um, what's it called? Uh, 
He came up from the register, right where I put all the groceries and shit like that. He just put this basket right in the middle of it. So I asked him politely, excuse me, sir, uh, may you please put the basket up for me? And then, well, before I even got to him, I was over fucking doing my uh, restocking and shit like that. Or recovery, yeah. that's what we call it. And uh, he was like, son, I'm 47 years old, man. I'm tired as fuck. You know, oh, fuck we all are. yeah. And he was like, and, and uh, what's it called? That could just be an extra work for you, but you want to be lazy and uh, not doing it and stuff. And you're gonna ask for uh, an old man to do it for you and stuff like that. Yeah, you're 47. Shut yeah. the fuck up. He was like, that's the problem with you. That's the problem with you youngins and stuff like that. And then Trump, the, what's it called? No one can tell you anything. I'm telling you something real. That's why Trump. What's it called? That's why people can't handle the truth nowadays. Trump got in trouble for saying some real shit. And I'm like, what the fuck does anything, any of this has to do with this shit? What <laughs> the fuck? And he just started lecturing and this and that. And I'm just like, all right, sir, no problem. And he, he kept going. Yeah. And then that's why I finally just said my piece. I was like, look, um, sir, you could just said no. Yeah. And I would have been fine with it. I, that's why I asked you. It was a question. And, and when, you, when, you, when you, what's it called? When a person asks you a question, you are allowed to respond to that question with a yes or no, no. fucking answer. <laughs> and I have to deal with it. If you would have said no, I just would have dealt with it. I didn't need this whole fucking, uh, this whole speech about like how <laughs> Trump and this and that and people can't be real anymore. I was like, they're being real and then they're just being rude. <laughs> and sir, you're being rude. <laughs> <laughs> that one... <laughs> I think if I order from my place today, and like, would you like fries? Like, you know what? That's what's wrong with this fucking world today. <laughs> exactly, man. <laughs> fucking, you know, Trump says some crazy shit. <laughs> fucking get told for it. And you can't say shit these days. <laughs> Sir, I just asked if you want, if you want to upsize your fries today. Look up, 47. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start using that. Look, I'm sorry, fucking eight years old, man. I'm fucking too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, like, last night I was fucking mad. That's, and that happened after my whole... Fucking speech. Che- yeah, yeah, speech with the ma- well, my manager Your and shit. Like, speech. Yeah. That happened right after that, so I was already in the mood. I remember just saying that. I was, like, refraining from cussing. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't cuss. Yeah. But I didn't say all the rest of that stuff. I was like, look, sir, you, there's there's a, there's a being real. Yeah. And then there's being rude. You're just being rude. Yeah, you're being a dumbass. Yeah. You're being a rude... You're, you're being rude, and, uh... And ignorant, so uh, I would just ask you. I, I'm just gonna ask you now to have a good night and just politely leave my store. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, "See, you can't talk to anybody." And I was like, "No, you weren't talking to me. You were lecturing me yeah, on some nonsense. It, <laughs> your, your lecture didn't even make any sense." <laughs> <laughs> I just asked you. Like I said, you could have just said no. You didn't want to say no. You wanted to give out, draw out this long speech. <laughs> But, and he was like, whatever, you know, I have, what's it called, I have a son, probably your age, stuff like that, you look a little young, stuff like, like, 20 son. I'm like, I'm 30, I'm, I'll be 35 this year, sir, and, uh, I'm not gonna go on all into it, but you don't know my life, yeah. and not, not that, and not that I need you to respect or anything like that, in that sense, and, and understand, but this is more of like, you really don't know me, you're just judging me off of how I look, and, and uh, and, 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 and my age and stuff like that. And you're trying to put yourself up on a pedestal. Yeah. You know? Because I don't know what happened during your day to day. But someone probably p- pissed in your damn Kool-Aid. That, <laughs> that, I, that I did say. <laughs> and uh, th- and you just decided to try and take it out on everybody. Yeah. By speaking some real stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and guess what? You know, you should already know because you're 47. They ain't gonna... Fu- they ain't going to fly with everybody. Yeah. Now, again, sir, I'm going to ask you again. Politely take your stuff, go outside, and leave my store before you really see me angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call. I'm going to call and complain about it. I was like, go right ahead. The number, what's it called? Corporate number's on the phone, on, 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 the, on the receipt right there. And my full name is Gustavo Aaron Rodriguez. Tell him what I said. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he does too, man. Kiss my ass. <laughs> People just downright lost their mind and shit. Fucking retarded. I'll jump into the other part too where we're talking about like what we we're going to talk about today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole NFL crap. You know? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I got like... I don't want to say mixed feelings on it. I understand the protest. 
It ain't about the military. No. You know. Um, what to call, though? I will say this. Um, would I like them to find a different means about going about Absolutely. it? Yeah, of course. But at the same time, too, that's what makes this country good anyway, is that they, they have that right. That is a right, yeah. you know. Um, but the other one is, too, this is my main thing. And it really has nothing to do with the football players. I think it's fucking funny that finally people are up in an uprage just because a couple of football players d- decided to take a knee and not come out. When I don't know how many fucking years now since I've been alive, the motherfuckers on their cell phones through the, through the, uh, through the national anthem and through the Pledge of Allegiance, fucking carry on conversations, yeah. running off and yeah. just goofing off and shit yeah. like that. And now all yeah. of a sudden people want to be offended well, because yeah. of a... Oh, fuck yeah. 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 It's like, uh, well, okay, why don't you want to offend the day? Yeah. Hey, what are you doing later? Exactly. Well, God's on my phone, you yeah. know. During fucking national anthem, or fucking just sit there. Yeah, I mean, that? like, what's it called? Am I a dog? Unless you have a fucking life, like a real legit reason. Hey, I'm handicapped. I can't fucking stand up. Or, yeah. You know, you know, the whole purpose is everyone should stand up. Everyone should put their hands over their hearts or whatever. That's the whole. What I was taught all that. Okay, I I totally understand where the NFL players come from. What better place to do it than on national fucking TV? If you're gonna protest, I'm violent. Yeah. You know, then their national anthem. What's going to make the most noise? I totally get it. It's not. They're not disrespecting. See, and this might be. With it, I don't think they are disrespecting the military. No. At all, and I'll argue to my dying day that they're not disrespecting. But there's ways you can disrespect the military. Right. They didn't call out the military. No. They didn't and, say they, and, and the guy who started Colin Kaepernick literally started off saying, "I am not disrespecting the military. Not disrespecting the flag." Here's my problem. Yeah. You know, there's too many black kids being killed by white police officers and all this shit, you know. And that's what started it. Yeah. No, I mean, like I said, man, would I have liked them? Would I have liked to probably see in a better spot besides the national? Yeah. But, uh, you know, that's part of protesting anyway. Yeah. It, it is to get, I mean, what's it called? Not, not to say, not the downplay it or like say this is an insult but it is to get the yeah. get the attention of people you know and you're right yeah exactly that what better play than just do it during the national anthem and stuff like that um i say straight up like with this one on my personal belief anyway do I, I do i stand for the national anthem yeah do i even stand for the pledge of allegiance yes, yes. but i'll be honest i don't pledge yeah because i mean what's it called my beliefs is you know even though i don't believe in a full christian god I don't pledge allegiance to a man yeah. because, honestly, it's against beliefs in God. Yeah. And it says it in doctrine. Yeah. You know? You're know, you only supposed to pledge your allegiance to the Creator, and that's it. Yeah. You know, Anything else is a, is a, is a false deity. Yeah. And that's how I feel about it because your government is man-made. Yeah. No matter how great it is or how good, you know, it, it's man-made. You know? And there's corruption in government. There's falls in government because there's corruptions in man. Yeah. You know? Regardless, I mean, like, what's it called? Even though we enjoy a bunch of freedoms here, like, one of the freedoms is I, I want to be allowed to say any of this shit well, in no. any other fucking yeah. country. Yeah. <laughs> You're not even gone. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, like, that that's the honest truth. I'm not going to, I'm never going to fully pledge allegiance. Do I have respect for the U.S.? Yeah. Yeah. Do, what, what's it called? Am I proud to be be here? Yeah. yeah but uh, I'm not going to pledge full allegiance to this motherfucking shit. I'll say straight up because I'm not going to pledge allegiance to any nation. Mm-hmm. Unless if it's like, you know, the, the the creator of the universe comes down himself and makes a fucking nation for himself. I'm like, this is my damn nation. I pledge allegiance to you, sir. <laughs> or ma'am, I don't know what the fuck you really are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Whatever I, you are today. <laughs> yeah, I, I pledge allegiance to you because you made me. <laughs> you made everything. <laughs> I just jump it back, you know, back to the fucking whole... Uh... NFL shit. Yeah. The people that are bitching and moaning and all this shit, I want to, I have a question. At home, when you're on your fucking couch watching the goddamn game, do your ass, ass stand up when the National Anthem comes on? Yeah. Does it? Yes no, or no? I bet, I bet my majority of them Fuck don't. no, it probably I doesn't. I bet my majority of them fucking run off the, and then yeah. talk to it and like, like you see like straight up at the, even at stadiums and stuff like that. That's what, I'm, that's what my yeah. beef is on. It's like y'all, every, what's it called? Everybody's going hoop and hop blast. You know, fucking over this shit. And it's like, okay, there's more real shit going on right now than besides some fucking football players making a silent protest and shit. Yeah, you know, got, like, it's World just, War III coming, yeah. knocking on our door. Yeah, well, and on, top, <laughs> on top of that, man, like, my annoyance with this whole 
what the whole U.S. right now is. Everybody's lost their fucking mind. Oh, There's Jesus nothing Christ. but extremists, and, yeah. and they make no sense with their extremists. Yeah. I mean, not that extremists make no sense anyway. Yeah. I mean, but like, like, this, it's fucking insanity here. You know, you have the you have the people on the far, on the far right making fun of the fun left because they can't stand. What's it called? They uh, because they have they have thin skin, and that's some so of the critique. And, and yeah, they have, they're, they're critiquing. That's their critique. They have thin skin in any yeah. safe place and stuff like that. And it's like, yeah, but uh, aren't you being a hypocrite? Because anytime like something like comes that's what's it called to you and stuff like that, or you critique. You 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 become like whiny little bitches too. <laughs> yeah, it's like you fucking you know. You, and, and, and it's like, what's it called? Well, this is threatening my patriotism and my... Co- you know what? If it was real patriotism, honestly, it's just like... What's it called? The, the saying is in Christianity. If you, are, if you are a real Christian, nothing can offend you of Christianity. And that's not just Christianity. That's all That's all faith, uh, walks of faith. If you truly have a belief in it, there's nothing that's going to rock it. Yeah. So why the fuck is everything being done... Uh, what's it called? Supposedly dis- uh, against America and disrespectful to the flag and disrespectful to America... Rocking your fucking patriotism so fucking much, yeah, and, 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 and shaking your boat up so much, you know, like really. That's the real. That's the real question. I I feel like people need to ask themselves. And in all reality, do you even believe it, or you just want to you just want to bitch about something and get some oh, attention? I think the nine thousand people just want bitch. Yeah, people want to bitch and they get have, attention. You know, they, they see like these you know football players. That's example. They got all this money. And they want to bitch about something. And yeah. Say, well, you know, they're not respecting America and the flag, blah, blah, blah. I mean, like, I'll say it straight up right now. The only people I, I, I'll even respect towards saying anything, whether positive or negative, about it, is military. Yeah. You know? And, yeah, it's torn between them. Yeah. I've, I've, I've heard both sides. Yeah. Come but, no, I, I can't. I, I totally respect what they say. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'll say it straight up. If per, I don't give a fuck. If the person hasn't served. And they're talking about the issues of the, uh, what you shut call it? Up. Yeah, shut up. You, you're just doing it for attention, bitch. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what you say. <laughs> <laughs> well, people have died for their never right. Did, did you, did you die? Did, did you die? Did yeah. you, uh. Did you did serve? You, yeah, did you serve? Did you go over go overseas and risk your life? No, but I had my dad. Yeah, I had my uncle. Well, you know what? Yeah. Then let your uncle talk. Yeah. You shut the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. We'll get your uncle over here. Let's have him yeah. tell me what he feels. Because I'll respect what he says. Yeah, exactly. And you I, go fuck it yourself. And like, I, and I respect both sides of the whole thing. It's just more like, like I said, man. Uh, for one, in, in the end, we have bigger issues going on. Oh my god, yeah. And in, in, in going on right now than the harp on some fucking. A fucking game, for God's yeah. sakes. And, and, uh, and even like that, and I an mean, anthem, like, but football sucks anyway, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get to the root of it. Football blows balls. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's just, you, you and I are, are, are definitely the minority on that shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, you know, I like even some of the insults, though. It's like, man, you, then, then a couple of whiny, overpaid athletes. But you watch them. Yeah. <laughs> you own a fucking jersey. You, you're the one that basically pays them. Yeah. Dumb fuck. Yeah. He's stupid as fuck, man. <laughs> I don't pay them fuckers because I don't watch them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't buy anything. I don't really buy any NFL shit, man. I don't no. have a fucking NFL jersey of any kind, man. Shit. I may buy, like, a product that, that probably goes to sponsors them or throws then somebody. you can't fucking help it. Cause, yeah, you know, it can't help it. Exactly. Everybody. Exactly, man. But I don't fucking... I've never Put supported the NFL, all them man. Them are fucking sponsors. Yeah. Never bought a fucking damn Buccaneers jersey or a fucking Bears jersey in my damn life, man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the part that make me laugh the most. They're overpaid athletes. Motherfucker, you pay them, though. <laughs> <laughs> Put money in their pocket. Why you bitching? <laughs> hey, guess what? They wouldn't be overpaid. You'd fucking watch them. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and you still can continue watching them. That's the other part yeah. that, that that's like make me laugh the most. They're bitching and moaning and shit like that, but you still gonna pay. Yeah, yeah. You still gonna watch. Oh yeah. Regardless of fucking Sunday on the fuck couch. Yeah. When the national anthem's going on, not fucking standing. Yup. That exactly, man. Not bitching. I mean, what's it called? Doing off whatever. Bitching the fuck. while someone else is doing something you're doing. You know, yeah, exactly. Kneeling or. You know. That's the part. Like I said, is is irony. It's irony, basically. Yeah. It's like okay, they're not. You know, at least. Them not at least them kneeling has some sort of message, some yes. sort of meaning. Yes. What's the meaning behind you on your fucking cell phone? Like eating like food, like yeah, eating <laughs> food and fucking 
and, 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 and trying to hold a conversation with a nigga next to you and shit like that. Yeah. And being ignorant. What's the meaning of that one? You know? I find that way more insulting than 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 some than some football players not kneeling for equality because of they they they're trying to uh, send a message of equality. Yeah. You know? I mean like I said, uh what's it called? Uh would uh would I have respected it more if they would have chose chose another uh what's it called uh, um another channel to do so? Absolutely. Yeah. But what you know at the same time that 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 is part of their that is part of the freedom we enjoy here. Yeah. You know. So uh, I can't be completely uh be like they shouldn't let I should be against the law because guess what man I'm gonna say it like this if you make it against the law then then uh you, you have take to away you, first. Yeah, yeah, and that's the truth. Exactly. Then you have to pretty much rewrite the Constitution. Good luck, you know. I'm yeah. sure the forefathers would love that shit. Then, I mean, even though like part of the Constitution is towards freedom of speech, is you you are responsible for any and all altercations yeah. that come about it and stuff yeah. like that. So yeah, they they are they're responsible for the ridicule they're getting right now. Yeah, you know, and, and uh, they have to be held accountable for any kind of ridicules they they they, they yeah. get. But uh, either way, but if I'm a football player, I I, I would understand that going in. Look, I take that risk of, yes, I'm going to piss off a lot of people yeah. by doing this. But, you know, as my right as American citizen, and, you know, this is what I believe in, you know, yeah, I want to fucking yeah. kneel and do whatever I want, I'm going to do. I mean, it's also a part of an actual NFL co- uh, bylaws, too, that they have to. It, it yeah. can get penalized through the NFL. Yeah, you know, but but that's that's a privately owned business and mm-hmm. shit like that. Yeah. That's not anything to do with government, you know. But and, and at the end, like I said though, like my main thing is like I took this to finally for people to get uh, what's it called, get all uh, huh, what's it called, all, all uh, uppity mm-hmm. and shit. And all of a sudden now everybody's a goddamn patriotic yeah. American and stuff. They're <laughs> Hulk, they're Hulk fucking Hogan <laughs> from the 1980s and shit. I'm a real American wearing red, white, blue. Nah, man. I'm, I bet half the people are bitching at one point have been trying to talk through the national anthem, been fucking on their phones, yeah. been fucking around and yeah. fiddling with their dicks and just, like you said, wolfing down fucking food, staying yeah. food and shit like that. Yep. While while my ass is like standing up, just taking hat off, complete yeah. hand but behind my back yeah. and just like yeah. just chill. Right, that's that's my other thing, straight. people. Fucking refuse to remove the hat. When it fucking says, please remove your hat. Yeah. Then you stand there, put my hair back on it. Like, they don't even do that. They don't yeah. even try to play it off. Yeah. That, like I said, man, that's the that's the part I find is fucking hilarious. To these guys, the finally for people to get on the oopla, and at the end, I bet nothing changed. I bet uh, nothing changes. You know, people will still be, and, and they're talking about disrespect the flat nigga. This been doing it. It's been going oh on God. since I was a kid. I don't even want to say since you know my in my adult years because I can remember go as far back as being four seeing that kind of shit. Not the cell phone part so much, but <laughs> yeah, people talking yeah, and crap yeah. like that. Yeah. Then cell phones came out, same thing. Motherfuckers started texting, on their cell phone and texting reading. during reading phone calls. People having full on conversations during the national hey, anthem and shit. <laughs> hey girl, what you wearing right now? And the home of the free. <laughs> 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 I mean, shit, man. <laughs> and not all my coaches, but what's it called? Uh, some of my coaches and shit like that, like, they're trying to talk to me while the National Anthem going on. And I'm just sitting there and, te- hey, pay attention to me. I will after the National Anthem. You know? Simple as that. Yeah. I don't, I say it straight up, too. That's towards my own personal beliefs. It's not so much that I even fully believe in this government is I have this, you know, it is, yeah. you know, I will go back on the military though. It is yeah. respect for the people who have died for the creed yeah. and shit like that. It has nothing to do with the fucking leaders. I'll say straight up right now. To me, they ain't fucking leaders. To me, leaders are, are, are military. Leaders are the motherfuckers that went out there and died and shit like that, you know? So I'm only standing because of them. I don't give a fuck about, you know, fucking who's in the office right now. Because in the end, I don't know that nigga, so I don't trust him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's similar for me, because, you know, I grew up in the military. Yeah. My parents were both, you know, majors in the Air Force, so, you know, it was, you know, indoctrinated almost in us, you know, that you yeah. respected the flag. When it came up, you know, you didn't talk. Yep. You didn't, you put everything down. You just, you you put your hand over your heart. Yep. You, 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 we, we had you the Pledge of Allegiance, you know, fortunately that was pretty much embedded in our head yeah from like you know first grade on I actually I take it back kindergarten on 
Yeah. You know, just, I was going to say, because I remember doing the Pledge of Allegiance as early as kindergarten. Yeah. And, so, like, you know. And I think it, was, it probably stopped actually when we moved to Ohio. Yeah. When we got out, like, Texas, you know, Arkansas, those areas, you know, especially, like, when we lived on base, you know, that was, you know, every day. But, yeah. You know, we got out to Ohio, you know, it wasn't that much. I it, stopped. Not that they stopped doing it. I just stopped doing the Pledge of Allegiance right when I got into high school. Yeah. That's, that's when I stopped doing seventh it. Seventh grade, I think. Yeah. Right when I got, like, in junior high. Yeah. That's kind of, like, when it, it switched. Well, no, I'm, I'm just talking for me because, I mean, they still yeah. made us do the Pledge of Allegiance or stand and shit like that. They okay. still recited it. I just didn't do it anymore. At that time, I, I'd already been uh, studying studying uh, Secret, cr- studying yeah. this Christianity and shit like that yeah. and studying the Jehovah's Witnesses and... And, you know, I will say straight up, I was a little influenced by the Jehovah's Witnesses when I was a kid and stuff like that, you know. So, because, I mean, part of it is, that's how I basically ended up learning how to read. It wasn't through school. I ended up learning how to read through Bible study and, for, and forcing myself to learn how to read and shit like that, you know. Reading the fucking Bible and shit like that and then just, find, like, find out all these uh, doctrines and shit like that. And then even seeing that with my own eyes, like, oh, okay, uh, yeah, then I'm not, gonna, I'm not pledging allegiance. And then... Then uh, the first time I didn't do it, the teacher was like, um, "Why aren't you, uh, why aren't you doing the pledge?" I, and she tried to get me in trouble. I was like, "Because it's against my relig- religious beliefs." And uh, the whole class started laughing and stuff like that. And I'm just like, "No, I'm serious." Yeah. And she was like, "What are you?" I was like, "I'm Jehovah's. I'm, a, I'm studying to be a Jehovah's Witness." She was like, "What do you mean studying to be a Jehovah's Witness?" I was like, "I'm not baptized yet." And she was like, "So you're not a Jehovah's Witness?" I was like, "No, I'm studying to be one." Yeah. So again, it is against my uh, it is against my yeah. religious beliefs. I will stand, however, like I did, and I put my hands behind my back, and uh, I'll give respect, but I can't pledge. Yeah. You know. And she was like, "What uh, what temple do you, what what church do you go to?" And I was like, "I go to a temp- I go to a I go to Jehovah's Witness Temple, on uh, up on um." Uh, de- uh, what's it called uh, Hillsborough Ave. That's where it was, that's where yes, I was afraid yeah. the most. And she was like, uh, "I asked you church." I was like, "Yeah, no, ma'am. Uh, what's it called uh, uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses don't refer don't refer to the uh, congregations as churches. They refer to them as temples uh, or, or uh, meeting halls, to be more correct." And she was like, "Oh, okay then." No, she was what's it called? She was trying to, you know, she was it's trying to, shit. she was, she thought it was like, yeah, making on a lie. Up, yeah. So, what's it called? She was like, okay, you, you, you're excused. I get it. All right, because she, she yeah. later on she told me she, uh, she, what's it called? She had a couple of relatives that were, that were uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. So she was her, she wasn't herself, but she knew a lot about, you know, yeah, their. Uh, their beliefs and stuff like that. She she was just basically quizzing me to make sure I wasn't on a lie. <laughs> so that was it. And then she was like, oh, "Okay, so I, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force you, force you. That, yeah. that there's as long as you're standing, what yeah. you that's what yeah. you're doing. So it's it, it's a, it's fine, you know. I just don't want you know I just don't want you uh like so many other students like oh they just find it as an excuse just to fucking bull uh, be uh, BS and just fiddle around and just be disrespectful. I was like, no. Too many people have died for that flag, regardless, and uh, died for my right to not stand and to not pledge. And, uh, you know. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I would never disrespect them like that. You know. But uh, at the same time, I'm not pledging to a man. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Done. I, even though nowadays I don't really fully practice. You know the whole walk of a Jehovah's Witness. That is still one dot, one, one uh, trait that I refuse not to give up. You know, and that's not even so much because of a, this. Because in the end, I'll, I'll say straight up, it's because of my distrust in man. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not pledging my whole allegiance to a man, to a man-made fucking uh, what's called logic or anything like that. Period, man. But like I said, I will stand. Out of respect for it, mm-hmm. am I gonna fully like say oh, I pledge my whole heart and body to this way of government? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. I niggas gave the Indian smallpox. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers came to my country and, and forced my people to be Christian against their will, then tried to breed us out. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 but 
But no, I mean, in, in the end, it's just, well, I'm just, I keep going back to it every time because that's the, every time I, I, I even remotely find myself thinking about it. I'm just like, why wasn't people bitching and moaning when, about this shit? About people being on their cell phones and being disrespectful way mm-hmm. before this shit. And really, is this target? That's the part I feel. I, I just feel feel well, not sad. I just think it's the funniest of all. It's targeted over these motherfuckers. Yeah. And over like these motherfuckers have meaning behind it at least. Yeah. You know what's your meaning <laughs> behind you want? Because Susie wants a booty call, bitch. <laughs> Susie wants some dick. That's your meaning. <laughs> that's more important than standing up for the pledge. <laughs> than standing up for the national <laughs> anthem, you pussy, motherfucker. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> I guess supposed to somehow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I, you know, this is a pledge, pledge for, uh, or what's it called, the national anthem for any country. Oh yeah. You know, because I, I stand for the national anthems of other countries too and shit, mm-hmm. and I will stand with respect. That's what I say straight up. That's why, in most sense, we're not liked. And the, we're not really liked around the world either because we're the most arrogant fucking oh, assholes. I, I swear, man. <laughs> And now it's like we we've gotten to the point where we even we we'll even do it with our own flag and our own national anthem and shit, you know. Um, I mean that's how I was taught. Period. And that's not like really, that's how I was taught at home, nigga. You have respect for everybody, yeah. you know. Not 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 even shit that doesn't directly involve you, you know. Fucking Paraguay's national anthem. I mean national anthem going on, nigga. I'm gonna stand, take my hat off, and stand to that motherfucker because it's respectful. Fucking Paraguay. You know, I think Paraguay's. Is Paraguay even a country? I don't know. Okay. Whatever, man. But no, nah, either way, man. But no, nah, it's the same thing. It, we just got to the point now. I don't want to say we, but a lot yeah. of people got to the point now. They they even do it with the, the U.S. national anthem. I ain't gonna lie. Some of them got some nice beats to them, though. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Some shit. Uh, like, oh, wait. Fuck, this is, na- this is national anthem. This is national shit. Can't do that. Now everybody stand for the national anthem of Morocco. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do any Moroccan beats in their mind. <laughs> stand for the national anthem of Jamaica. We Jama! <laughs> what the Jama with you? Hell yeah! Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> oh, shit, sorry. Here. Let me let me put, put this put joint away. <laughs> He puts this out. Sorry, sorry. I got, I got confused, man. I heard the beat. I, I didn't know it was your dad's method, man. I'm My sorry. bad, bro. I'm sorry. It sounded like bounty killer joint. <laughs> I mean, you heard ours, right, man? I mean, it's still embarrassing. <laughs> oh man. Uh, all right, man. What else is? What else? Um, you know what? Kind of piggybacking off what this, like Puerto Rico. You heard the shit that's going on in Puerto Rico since they got fucking hit by Hurricane Maria? Uh, I know they got, like, hit Dude, hard. they got fucking fuck. I mean, I don't Literally, know too. And, and, you know, anyone that does listen to Puerto Rico, and I don't think you'll be able to hear us right now because, you know, your fucking power's out for, like, months. Dude, God bless you guys. Good luck. Because you guys got fucking annihilated. Yeah. Um, here's, here's my beef with all that. Puerto Rico is not a... It, it's owned by the United States. Yeah. They're not technically... It's a they're territory. Like, they're like... Yeah, they're like a sovereign... What they call it? Sovereign territory. Yeah. They've tried many times to become a state. Never worked out. <clears throat> they don't get any of the benefits that we get up here. Yeah. Like federal stuff. Yeah, exactly. You know? So, they're still allowed... They're not allowed to vote for any of our elections. But they can come through and serve as a military. Exactly. On, I never understood that. They can't yes. vote, but they can serve in our military. Yes. And, they, and they can move from like Puerto Rico to different states. No. Yeah, no, no visa or anything. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But the fact that, you know, here's a country that we own. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> um, excuse me. Um, that we own. <coughs> that needs our fucking help. Fucking needs it big time. We're fucking. They have literally said it's probably gonna be four or five months that they're gonna get all electricity back in that country. Yeah. I have not heard one person on either side. I've heard about this goddamn f- football shit. Yeah. There's a fucking country that cool. needs. The in fucking, the end, uh, maybe um, 
I'm about the, the conspiracy nut about to talk now. <laughs> but uh, maybe it's just convenience that these motherfuckers didn't stand. Yeah. For that reason. <laughs> yeah, it's like... But like, you know, like I said earlier, what's it called? It is piggyback, but like, yeah. You know, so much other shit going on right now. That's Your motherfuckers want to harp on this insignificant shit. Yeah. You know? That's a country that fucking we own. It's yeah. ours. We can't say, you know, well, you know, they're fucking on their own. Yeah. You know? But it, what's it called? Not, not the... Not that I'm, when I say this, I'm justifying anything, but it's like always been back and forth with the U.S. and Puerto Rico. There's been times when the U.S., what's it called, when Puerto Rico's want to become a, a state, then the and U.S. We, is like, no. Yeah. And right. then when this, what's it called, when the U.S. is like, you should become a state now. No. No. <laughs> no, I get it. It goes both ways. Yeah, they go back and forth on it, you always, know? man. I just, I mean, to me, it's just. The main, the, the, the main, the main issue that's always been is they don't want to pay our taxes. Oh, no. Yeah. Which I don't blame them shit. I don't want to pay, I don't want to pay out taxes. <laughs> if I could become a sovereign state, I would. Yeah. <laughs> I am the United States of Gus. <laughs> <laughs> just a little block right here. Yeah. Just, yeah. Block of land. I'm still going to mooch off your fucking electricity, though. <laughs> <laughs> need your cable, motherfuckers. Yeah. I need my Wi-Fi. I got my phone. I don't even <laughs> do that shit. <laughs> no, nah, man, but... uh. I forgot what I was going to say now. No, oh, oh but no, it, it, I don't know too much, really. I know they got fucking smashed hard and practically obliterated. Yeah. You know? Um, the only reason why I don't know much because in the end, I, you, you know, even even though this is my norm, I pretty much just don't watch TV. Mm-hmm. I don't watch anything. I You know? I don't even, nowadays, like, I kind of don't even try to follow most things. But, like, because of all the recent shit as of late, the fu- it gives me a fucking headache, and it almost makes me want to puke, so I, I'm purposely now not bothering to check up on current events. <laughs> I probably should, yeah. but at the same time, I don't, I, I'm so, nothing's biased anymore, nothing, you know, everything's either far or this or far oh, yeah. that, and I'm just, I don't trust it anymore. Yeah, yeah you can't trust any of the things. Yeah. And so, I mean, like, uh, I've just... Eh, and in and, and two people got to open up their own motherfucking opinion. Just give me the facts, yeah. not your opinion how you feel about it. Just give me what's going on, and then shut the fuck up and let me yeah. come up with my conclusions and leave me the fuck alone after that. You know? I mean, it's sad where I have to watch, like, BBC World. Yeah, to find out. America news. Yeah, exactly. Because at least I don't get the bullshit, like, fucking opinions. Yeah, exactly. Unless it's like... Well, America's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And that's a valid opinion. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. That's not even a valid opinion. That's a fucking fact. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas crazy. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's honestly what I watch or yeah. listen to. I mean, for the longest time, that's why I would watch Knowledge Zero. Knowledge Zero. It's yeah. the same thing. They, they just gave facts. Because yeah. that's what news networks are supposed to do. Facts. Yeah. That's it. Done. Maybe boring as fuck, but guess what? The news is supposed yeah. to be boring. Yeah. It ain't supposed to be exciting. That's the thing that this is again. Is, that's why I've been trying just to stay to myself even more. What to what call that? And, and, and a lot of it, some of it, the the help and the motivation has been for because I've been having to train for this fight anyway, so it helps. You know. But what's it called? That's why I've always referred to fighting for me more as a therapy than a fucking anything else. Because it helps when shit's fucking annoying me and crap like that. Or just fucking downright making me want to fucking puke out of my dick. You know? <laughs> I know, I give, I give like great analogies and shit. <laughs> I get away with words. <laughs> no, nah, but uh, I forgot what I was going. Oh, no, nah, I remember. But, like, because everybody want to open their mouth with their own shit. Period. And uh, this is getting to a point now where it's like fucking annoying. Everyone, what's it called? And that, to me, that's another issue and shit like that. Because we've gotten, what's it called? And I'm talking about the U.S. again. We've gotten so gun ho about like everything being instant yeah. and exciting. And, yeah. you know, it's like the news is now exciting. But remember back when, like, even in the 80s and shit like that, news didn't have like these flashy ass graphics and shit. No, I don't know. Now, now the news. Oh, what's it called? When you open up, when you jump a Fox News, it looks like an opening to a fucking Michael Bay movie. Man. <laughs> 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 Got all these graphics flashing at you and shit, yeah. <laughs> Eight o'clock news with Bill O'Reilly, yeah, in your ass, motherfucker. <laughs> you know, Bill O'Reilly ain't on TV no more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
That's the only motherfucker I can think of, really, at the moment. <laughs> I gotta watch that. <laughs> fucking record that bitch. The news is so obnoxious with all these graphics and shit, and then, like, they're, they're fucking just, like, they open up the... They, they open up their mouth. Leave news network. I mean, news. Uh, anchor has to open with their own mouth and their yeah. own opinion. Their own feel. I don't give a fuck about your feelings. Just tell me. Just do your job yeah. and tell me what's going on. That's yeah. it. Shut up. Don't try to get and and, and this is and then and the news networks. Then they over. They have to over dramatize every single little fucking thing. They're only focusing on Jesus the Christ. on the bad shit and stuff like that. Working all these people up in a fucking frenzy. You know. Yep. Or uh, like one of my favorite CNNs. And then and then I get chewed out Dollar General from some forty seven year old <laughs> motherfuckers <laughs> over some nonsense that had nothing to do with me. <laughs> you see how this all loops around? <laughs> Fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> oh, good lord. Trudeau is Trudeau. Oh, yeah. By the CNN, and it's, it's notorious for this, they'll start off a fucking segment with, like, here's what's going on. And then they'll branch off into, like, here's our panel. We're going to talk about this for, like, 20 fucking minutes. Yeah. It's like, I don't fucking care what the fuck you guys are talking about. Just tell me what the fuck's going on. Exactly. Let who me fuck, come up with my own opinion. Who the fuck are all y'all niggas, man? Yeah. In my hammer! <laughs> this kid's going in my hammer! <laughs> it's time to say the F day! <laughs> That's why it's just like, like I said, you know, fucking BBC World or like Al Jazeera News. Yeah. That's, you always have to watch those to get a non to get, opinion. To get real news. Of American news. Real news, yeah, real yeah. American news. Real news, period, man. Even yeah. world, even when world, like, yeah. even when these motherfuckers yeah. go to world news and shit like that, man. Oh Jesus Christ! They paint this like fucking insane picture and shit, man. It was like, man, if these niggas were this crazy, I don't think any of us would be alive at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and really, we, we, I feel like we the craziest niggas on, on, on the fucking planet right now, shit. Uh, at least what to call it? Like, you know what, dude? I you know, sometimes I feel like we're like the uh, schoolyard bully. Yeah. In some sense, you know, because like we go out and we just start poking somebody, hey, 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 and we start doing shit, and then people get pissed off at us, and then like, oh well, you know, we didn't mean to do it. Or, all right, here's a, here's my knowledge on it, which I'm not disagreeing with you at all, but my knowledge is on it like this, all right, man. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use like kind of comic book villains and shit yeah. like that. So like, you have all these other fucking assholes. They're more like Magneto and. Mm-hmm. They all have purpose behind their fucking evilness, yeah. you know? Even though they believe... And I'm going to use the, the terms of Magneto. Because Magneto, don't, even when he was bad in the comics, he didn't believe he was doing bad. He was trying to fight for a better cause. Yeah, exactly. and he was doing yeah. good. All right, so we got Magneto over here in the Middle East. They got There's reason behind their fucking, fucking evil, Yeah, you know? Uh, fucking up in, uh, Rush, you know, Rush, all of them, you know, China, all of them and shit like that. And then you got the Joker, which is the U.S. See, the, the nigga don't even know what the fuck he's doing half the time. <laughs> <laughs> he's just doing shit just to fucking, just to blow shit up, man. Joker's just like... Not even the Joker. I mean, like, when in some sense, it's like a jo- mix with the Joker and, uh, I can't even think of anybody I else. I think really. Joker's good because, he, because Joker was never, it's never like, um, Plan. Yeah. That's chaos. That's Joker was all chaos. <clears throat> he didn't really have a per- like he didn't really have a Well I mean what's it called? His uh basic objective was just to prove to everybody that they're like him. Yeah. You know? That's really his basic yeah. motive. That was his basic motive behind everything he did. But I mean like it even like that to me, like that's why I'm even kinda of going off it's like it's even like that, that's kind of a poor analogy. Cause like here in the states, it really starting to feel like we we don't even fucking know anymore. No, we we just every, what's it called? Even when you got got like the the new age hippie fucking crazy leftists and shit like that, they just looking for a cause to stand out for something. Uh-huh. That's the really the whole thing there. Like we have no meaning, we have nothing to outrage about, so we gotta just find something to make some shit up. Yeah, you know. And then you got the far crazy fucking extreme right fucking assholes. They're just a, they're just a bitch and then like. They, what's it called? Even though like they're gonna what's it called? They bitch about like 
uh, dictators and shit like that. It's like, nigga, if you don't believe in what they believe, then they fucking jump on your ass like you the fucking plague and shit, and they try to convert you toward that too. You know, you got the extremes on streams of both fans, but they ain't even on both fans. They're so fucking crazy, they don't even fucking know what they're doing anymore. Yeah. You know? <laughs> they don't know what they bitching about no more, man. Shit. It should be illegal to do anything on the flat. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> don't like well, I sit on my couch and yeah. drink my beer. Yeah. I'm a bitch at these, these uh, football players and say, Neil, I'll make them kneel or something. I mean, and in the end, man, like, I, you know, the other part of it, and I'm, I'm putting out my, pers- my, my personal view on it, my thing. I don't give a fuck what any of these niggas doing, man, because at the end of the day, guess who has to get up and make, and, and fucking, uh, and, and, and still go to work, put my pants on and shit, because it's, it's the law to go outside with no pants, what the fuck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess he's still got to go clocking in his fucking part-time job that's pissing him the fuck off right now. <laughs> I guess he's still got to come in and train for a fucking fight, you know? And vice versa. I mean, like, who, 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 punches, in, who punches the clock for you at the end of, at the end of all this, Matt? Uh, uh, Buddha? It ain't fucking Trump. It ain't these no. fucking football players, man. <laughs> still got my responsibilities. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them, let them fucking be, that's how I feel about the whole thing, it's like all these niggas going crazy and it's like, okay, uh, maybe I'm not really as crazy as I thought I was. <laughs> that's how I feel like, man, it, I feel like I'm on the outside, I'm on, I'm on like the outside of a fucking looking glass looking in, mm-hmm. like y'all motherfuckers have lost your goddamn mind, man, y'all. Over, over, the, over the stupidest shit that don't even concern you. Yeah. That, not, that has nothing to do with you and that's not going to affect your life. Cause that's the main thing. It's not going to affect your life. Yeah. That's, how, that's how I feel about it. You know? I mean, like, to a degree, can someone argue, like, toward the equality thing? It, 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 it is a, what's it called? It can't affect me because I, I'm considered a minority. I'm not white. Yeah, you can argue that to a point. But you know what? Wait I'm a del- minute. I know, right? You're I, not white. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck this! <laughs> How did I not know this, Mr. Rodriguez? <laughs> All this time. I thought you just had a great tan. I mean, no, but, but, but what's it called? Like, for one, the whole discrimination shit, which is real. Okay. I've dealt with it my whole fucking life. Yeah. But at the end of the day, guess what? I've still had to get up and put fucking money in my pocket in some way, some form, and, and find ways to fucking get food in my belly. Done. You know, the some fucking neo Nazi some bitches and some fucking clan members did not stop me from getting to the right old age of thirty four and four by <laughs> thirty five. They wanted to, but yeah, they failed. <laughs> yeah, they failed because I just kept going on doing what I had to do and shit yeah. like that. Done, you know, and uh, you know, and, 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 and it's happened because I fucking did, did, made the initiative to make it happen and shit yeah. like that. And, and uh, any other issues in my life, I don't blame anybody else for it and stuff like that. I mean, like, what's it called? I'm not going to blame Donald Trump because, uh, what's it called? Some uh, some motherfucker on the internet called me a damn dirty wetback or some shit like that, you know? I'm not going to thank Donald Trump either, like, it, it, when I get a job and shit like that because he had nothing to do with it. Mm-hmm. Until the day Donald Trump comes to my door and gives me a hand job, and he's like, you know what, Gus, you've been doing a great job, man. <laughs> <laughs> or his wife, or offer me his wife for a, for a, for yeah, a night let's, or something. Like yeah, boy, they 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 offer me both their booty holes. I don't give a fuck. Wife and daughter. Yeah. <laughs> wife, daughter, and Trump. I don't care. I, 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 I'm on it, man. <laughs> no, but until that day happens, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Then they can do and say and spit all the crazy shit he wants. That's what he does anyway. Mm-hmm. What do you expect? He was. What do people expect? That's what's so correct. Yeah. What did people expect when he got elected? Yeah. You think it was just all of a sudden become like, you know, regal and fucking uh, not say crazy ass shit? No. And, and you think he was going to give up his old and stop his whole Hollywood trending shit? No. I mean, what's it called? Part of beefs on Trump right now from cats that I know have voted for him. It's like, all, all you're doing is you're on Twitter arguing with fucking football players. Run this damn country! Why do you think he's on Twitter? That's the habit he had to do from Hollywood. Yeah. The nigga's Hollywood. <laughs> he's fake as fuck. He ain't real. 
And in the end, I don't give a fuck. This country could be going to hell. I still get up and get make my fu- and, and put food in my gut. That's yeah. what I've done. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I have to do. You know, like in that sense, I think it, I really do feel like that, man. And, and people who stop. What's it called? Putting so much emphasis on what these other assholes are doing and start worrying about themselves a little bit more again. I think we'd be fine. Yeah. You know, and honestly, even right now, I believe we'll be fine. You know, we're not. What's it called? Because if shit was really going that far, far down the hole and shit like that, we'd be seeing it now. Mm-hmm. You know, we wouldn't. Uh, we 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 wouldn't be able to bitch about it because we'd be too busy fucking having to deal with the with actual tyranny. Mm-hmm. You know, those people have got. I don't know. I feel like people are getting weaker and weaker by the fucking years. Anyway, I'm back. I'm like taking over the whole thing. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Sideways rant. Right. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's just because it popped in my head earlier when we were ranting raving. Next month is October, which is yep. Halloween. Halloween. So here's what I was thinking. Every week we should get together and report. We should recommend. Movies to the people that they should go watch. Yeah. For Halloween. Before Halloween. Like good Christmas movies. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Home Alone, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Just like stuff like, you know, because I mean, let's try to, uh, part of me wants to kind of go a little bit back into like how we all started this. Yeah. You know, where we were talking about horror. Fans and shit. Man. Yeah. Because we kind of, I mean, and I don't we mind. Kinda, We've had some fun, but. We kind of steered away from it. A little bit, yeah, but I kind of like want to. Go back, especially in October, and you know, do service to people that listen for our horror yeah, exactly. content. You know, we haven't done. I don't even think we haven't done horror in a any long kind time. of horror theme in a long time. We'll now. do it bits and pieces, but I think for October, <clears throat> I think especially for October, it should be balls to the wall. Yeah, let's do horror. Right, you know, let's let's tear it up. You know. I'm tired of all this other shit anyway. You know, like, <laughs> I, I don't. Yeah, like, see, I don't mind every once in a while we get serious and on on here, especially when shit you know is bothering one of us. Yeah, you know that way because I mean that's the whole purpose is also is for us to vent on here, right? You know, so we can talk it out and not try to kill the world. Well, yeah. maybe, <laughs> maybe on your end. <laughs> <laughs> Fantasies are getting really strong. Yeah, for me. I, I know, right? <laughs> but I just think, like for this next month, that's kind of what I want to do. Let's just do a big time. Yeah, Jolly right month. What we should, man. You know, because because fuck. I mean, look at our name, Zombie. zombie thug Come it. on, man. Hard <laughs> <laughs> hard movies, hip hop, and fucking Everything combat sports, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We, you know, especially the last couple episodes, though, we've been getting talk. Well, we we've kind of like we have talked about like combat sports. Not mo- well, a little, a little bit, bit, yeah. I mean, we did like the whole episode about the fight. <clears throat> yeah, true. You know, you know we what? did like big run up to that fight, really. I guess what's it called? It's because I remember when we first started, how we said we weren't going to touch on any political shit. Yeah, but, yeah, we went the hell on that one. <laughs> 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 we went back though, man. We can't be on. We you know we'll be honest. We we kind of. Out the window on that one. Yeah, we. <laughs> but like I said, I don't mind like every once in a while. If we, like I said, if, especially if like if something's bothering you or something bothering me, and I need to vent, damn, dear, right, dude, I'm gonna come on here. I'm gonna vent. Yeah. Because I gotta get it off my chest somehow. Um. You know, I, I think there's some movies coming out. Like, hell, dude, we could fucking watch. Uh, Chucky comes out in a couple. Yeah, the uh, the cult of Chucky. Yeah. I actually, uh, I told you I watched Cedar Chucky. Yeah. Well, not Cedar, Seed- uh, Curse of Chucky. Yeah. Well, but I didn't mind it, actually. It's it was bad. stupid. Yeah. Because in the end, like, in the end, I mean, like, I don't take the Chucky movie seriously. No, anyway, God, I never no. have. A, you know, not even the first one, which the first one was only good, like, actual, like, decent, Child real play, horror yeah. movie, you know? The other ones were just kind of like uh, horror comedy, at yeah. best, even though they were more comedy than horror in my eyes, yeah. but what's it called, uh... The, what was it going with that one? The cur the curse. I mean, like my only be- my only real beef on the whole Chucky movies at the end of the day. Not even just Chuck, even the Puppet Masters. Even though like the Puppet Masters all and shit like that, they want they always they never went on that person directly mm-hmm. and try to and try to kill him. But like in the Chucky movies, like yeah, he just combats some motherfuckers like straight on. 
And it's like, nigga, how do you get killed by a dog? <laughs> <laughs> like, really? I mean, yeah. <laughs> the dog has no muscle, man. How is yeah. it like getting you wrestling? Oh, my God. It's like, <laughs> ah. oh, I, I, I put up a status about, like, I just asked like, on a yeah. status shit. I remember, what's it called? One of my friends like, it's the shock value. I was like, oh, I give a fuck if I am in shock, man. I'd kick that dog dead in the dick. <laughs> I th- what the fuck? Get that fucking knife out of my face. I throw that bitch. <laughs> How the fuck are you going to die by a doll? A doll. What the hell, man? You you deserve to die. Fuck that. <laughs> you just imagine you get to heaven or hell. So uh, how'd you die? Um, I got killed by a doll. You pussy. <laughs> <laughs> if you was in heaven, say Peter be like, you know, we don't even no, want you here. Fuck, you, fuck you me. going peace, man. <laughs> Get to hell. We don't want them here either. Yeah, Purgatory. <laughs> fuck it. That's not really a real thing. It is now. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> you don't want them. We don't want them. Fuck them. <laughs> that earth with you, buddy. <laughs> Just roam there. <laughs> you get there. Some guy walks up to you. Boy, let me tell you what's wrong with this world today. <laughs> <laughs> you got so many people willing to do their goddamn jobs, and you got Trump over here talking to the shit. Everybody listening. Man, this is what's wrong with this world today. Hey, you know how Trump got in trouble with just saying some real shit, man. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to teach you. I'm trying to educate you, man. Are you educated? Yes, sir. I was like, oh, you crazy bastard. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my store. <laughs> And on that note, this is Buddha. This has been the Sideways. America! Fuck you! Fuck you. This was another tantalizing episode from Zombie Thuggin' Podcasts.